Yo, yo, what's up? It's Dead A here. We're bringing you out another gameplay. Today, I'm going to teach you how to level up fast in Halo Infinite. Alright, so the only way you can level up right now is currently through the Battle Pass itself. So, the game's just by completing them. There's no actual level up system unless you're playing ranked, and, and that's a whole nother discussion by itself. But if you're just looking to level up, you are going to need the battle pass. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be changing that anytime soon or not, but just keep that in mind. And moving forward, each level is 1,000 XP, and there's 100 levels in the battle pass, which means you're going to need a total of 100,000 XP. And on that note of getting XP, one thing to know is you're going to have to complete a lot of challenges because just finishing matches isn't going to give you a lot of XP. As a matter of fact, it's netting you nothing. So the first thing you want to do is purchase the Battle Pass itself. And we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Boom. So right here you see that I've been playing for a few hours. And then I realized I wasn't earning a lot of XP. That's because, again, you need to have the battle pass. And you can already see the challenges that I've pretty much started picking away at. These challenges do restart every week. So go ahead and jump on them as much as possible. Some of these you can do in playing against bots. But when you're playing against bots, which is the boot camp, you won't be able to pick the mode. And these are very mode specific. But if it's just focusing on a specific gun and it doesn't state PvP, then you could do it in bot boot camp. But... For the most part, you're going to have to do most of these in actual matchmaking PvP. Another way of gaining XP is you can actually boost your XP with uh, 200 of these credits. Again, it's, that's paid, pay to play, basically. But if you want to, if you don't have the time to play, and you just rather not have to deal with the grind, and you want to be able to keep up and customize your match chief, and all that other stuff without having to put in the amount of time that is required, you can purchase level up along with... Uh, XP grant, which immediately gains you 250 XP towards your battle pass, and then there's also double XP boost. Now, the trick with this is to stack up your double XP boost until you get like an easy challenge. Um, for example, kill enemy Spartans with a battle rifle. Stack up your double XP while you complete those easy challenges, and you're going to be racking in XP, leveling up a lot faster than if you just use your double XP tokens as you got them. So, something to keep in mind with the leveling up system. So, if you was to complete all your dailies um, and all your weeklies every week and every day, it's going to come out to just over 5,000 XP points. And there's 100,000 XP required in order for you to fully level up. So, that means roughly 19 weeks is going to go by before you complete the battle pass itself. And for me personally, that's a little bit too long. 19 weeks. Um... I imagine that they're going to be changing that, hopefully, uh, or there's going to be a lot of double XP that's, that's thrown out there to speed up that process because 19 weeks to complete a battle pass is just insane to me. Uh, and when you think about other battle passes like Warzone, you know, it doesn't take 19 weeks to complete a battle pass. It takes you, if you're grinding on it, roughly about three weeks, four weeks to complete it. So we're looking at four times as long before you can complete this battle pass. To me personally, I find that a little um, a little crazy. A little too much grinding going on there. And then you add in the fact that the season itself is only, I think, 24 weeks in total. So if you're not on the grind and you buy this season pass, maybe you get gypped out of your money. I, I don't know how it's going to work as we get close to the end. I just know that 19 weeks, and this is the end of this rant, is a really really long time 343 three. we need to you know bring that down scale that down bring up the xp so this way that it doesn't take nowhere near that long because there's going to be people who are jumping on to this season pass two or three weeks into its cycle and that means it's going to be impossible at this rate for them to achieve the hundred thousand xp points required in order for them to complete the season pass Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.